the Buddha said to Sabudi, What do you think? When the Tathagata studied under Dipankara Buddha, did he receive any Dharma? No, world honored one. When the Tathagata studied under Dipankara Buddha, he did not receive any Dharma. Sabudi, what do you think? Does a Bodhisattva transform a world into a Buddha world? No, he does not. World honored one. Why not? One who transforms the world does not transform the world. That is to transform the world. And so, Sabudi, Bodhisattvas and Mahasattvas should give rise to a pure mind that is not attached to form, sound, smell, taste, touch, or dermas. The mind should act without any attachments. Sabudi, if there were a person with a body the size of MT, Sumeru, what do you think? Wouldn't this body be huge? Extremely huge. World honored one. Why? The Buddha teaches us that a body is not a body. Hence it is called a huge body. said to Sabudi, what do you think? When the Tathagata studied under Dipankara Buddha, did he receive any Dharma? No, world honored one. When the Tathagata studied under Dipankara Buddha, he did not receive any Dharma. Sabudi, what do you think? Does a Bodhisattva transform a world into a Buddha world? No, he does not. World honored one. Why not? One who transforms the world does not transform the world. That is to transform the world. And so, Sabudi, Bodhisattvas and Mahasattvas should give rise to a pure mind that is not attached to form, sound, smell, taste, touch, or dermas. The mind should act without any attachments. Sabudi, if there were a person with a body the size of MT. Sumeru, what do you think? Wouldn't this body be huge? Extremely huge, world honored one. Why? The Buddha teaches us that a body is not body. Hence it is called a huge body.